Ruben, uh, ahead of the Adelaide game, what's Mike's message been to the, the, the boys? Um, I think just building on what we uh, um, what we did defensively against the Tasmanian Jack Toppers. Um, we just got to build on that and hopefully come out and hold, hold a team to under 80. Um, a win like Tasmania, the, the, the win against Tasmania, a win like that, does that does that buoy the group? I mean, we were staring down the barrel of a one and four start. We have even the ledger somewhat. Does that buoy the group? Yeah, for sure. Um, I guess going one and four would have been would have been a tough place to come back from. But um, I think the boys, yeah, they, they fought and um, made sure we locked up on defense, which uh, was our focus the whole week. How are you feeling about your game? It's a slightly different role for you this year, coming off the bench. But is it something that you've, you've thrived in in the first five games? Yeah, for sure. Like I'm still learning a lot of the sets. I'm still learning uh, defensive schemes and stuff. Uh, I've only been here a month and a half, so. Um, once I get all those things down on, on, on lock, I think I'll be good. That, you, you mentioned you obviously had a, had a ripping World Cup with the New Zealand Tall Blacks. You came in ever so slightly later than the rest of the boys. Has it been difficult to, I guess, adapt to Mike's new new program and the new teammates, or have you kind of slotted in pretty seamlessly? Like, I didn't think it was going to be this tough, but it, it has been tough. Um, I came from a system where you're running things for the whole six weeks le leading up to the World Cup, learning everything. Um, getting everything on lock and then you got to come into another system and learn their systems as well and like whole new coaching staff a lot of new players so um, it was a lot of learning for me did you know that it was going to be a bit of a tough transition or have you kind of realized that as we've gone i didn't think it was going to be this hard honestly um, i thought i was like i'm a i'm a smart player and i i can slot into most teams but um, yeah i came from a new zealand new zealand uh the new zealand league where I learnt all of their systems, went over to the, the, the Tall Blacks, learnt all of their systems and now I've got to learn the system again, so um, I'll be alright, a couple of more weeks. An exciting week for you Ruben, it's your 100th game for the Phoenix, uh, your journey over the last four years has been impeccable, what, have you got a favourite memory of, of your time with the Phoenix? Favourite memory? Um, Alright, oh, that's a tough one, I guess like there's so many, so many memories yep. to Think of obviously playing my 300th game here yep. um, at the Phoenix. Um, I think just the relationships I've built over the years and um, a lot of the people I've met um, has, has been the most exciting thing for me. Outside of Creaky, you're our most senior player on the Phoenix roster. Do you notice something different about this group? I mean, you've been part of, I guess, four different groups, They're each one having their strengths and weaknesses. What, what excites you about this current group? We're young. We're young and like, vibrant, coming to practice every day, everyone's ready to go, um, our trainings are tough, and then just a few more things that click and we'll, we'll be a very good team. We play Adelaide on Thursday, we play the Bullets on uh, Saturday, what are you looking forward to? Well, I guess what are the team, what's the team looking forward to in this two game stretch? We're going to lock up, I think we can score against any team, we can get whatever we want, I think if we can be a good defensive team, we're going to be a great team.